Hey, this gyroscope uses a, a, a hard disk drive uh, taken out of a Seagate 7200 RPM uh, disk drive and I've got five platters on there uh, for a total weight of about 140 grams for the gyroscope, the rotor. And this is a bottom heavy gyroscope. All the weight is below the gimbal, the axis of the gimbal. And the gimbal is composed of uh, just a, a fiberglass rod uh, and two bearings. Uh, and I'm using a, a t inclinometer tilt sensor. Uh, I forget what number it is, or what the IC name is. Uh, but I don't have to calculate. It's not a. Uh, I don't have to calculate the. The. Uh, I don't have to integrate the gyroscope and the accelerometer. It's all done for you. So it just spits out a, an angle. And then I'm using a 9 gram servo uh, and, uh, to uh, move the counterweight back and forth. And uh, Arduino Uno. And uh, I'm using uh, my uh, RC radio transmitter and receiver to control the speed of the motor and I'm using an ESC there's an ESC there um, electronic speed controller and the only problem with you running a the hard disk motor with the electronic speed controller is is uh, you don't get the full RPM so it's only running at 4400 RPM so I'm gonna get a dedicated hard disk driver controller and should be able to get 7000 RPM and it shouldn't uh, wobble so much. Uh, and also I could work more on the PID routine. It's I just worked on it a couple hours. And I think I'm going to attach some pot, or potentiometers so I can control the PID and rather than having to change the code every time. I want to try a new setting. Um, and so it just uh, senses the the angle of the of the gyroscope cradle and then or the frame and then counteracts by moving the the uh, counterweight in the opposite direction and this forces a a, a precession force on the gyroscope and, it, and then it self writes itself. And also I'm not using flat wheels, I'm using uh, little bits of, of uh, chopstick that have a pointy end. So this is balancing on points, it's not balancing on flat wheels. And uh, so I'm going to use a new controller, get more RPM, and if I have more RPM, I have more momentum, and probably then uh, it'll be uh, less inclined to to fall off uh, like it's doing now. You can actually flip this gyroscope all the way over and make it top heavy, and uh, it will self balance for a few seconds, and then using the the counterweight, it will also work and actually be smoother uh, but I, I haven't done that here I've done that on another on the, another project uh, this one I'm just I was just concerned about uh, w with uh, balancing a totally bottom heavy gyroscope and it looks like it's doable and hopefully later I'll, I'll get a smoother routine that, that won't wobble so much but pretty happy that it's working as well as it is now